Keeping children safe from harm is of paramount importance. We must ensure that systems designed to protect children work effectively and consistently so that no child falls through the cracks. That's why the Joint Committee on Children and Young People undertook an inquiry into the child protection and social services system. We focused on areas where the New South Wales child protection system intersects with the Federal Circuit and Family Court of Australia and the harm that cross-jurisdictional conflicts can cause to the children and young people. The committee held a public hearing in August this year. We heard from witnesses working in advocacy organisations, legal services, research groups and government agencies. Witnesses told us about cases where a parent, often a child's father, might have abused a child or committed family violence. But due to inconsistencies and the poor communication between the federal family law system and the state child protection system, an abusive parent may end up with custody or access to these children. These outcomes are unacceptable and create serious risk of further abuse. Our report made a number of recommendations including independent reviews of the processes that New South Wales Department of Communities and Justice uses to interact with the family law system, improving the training given to legal professionals who work with children who have experienced abuse or family violence, providing more financial and health supports for children and protective parents engaged in family law matters, and making sure that New South Wales is ready to act on new reforms taking place at a federal level. This has been an important inquiry. I'd like to thank all stakeholders who contributed their expertise and insights. You can find our full report on the committee's webpage.